Ukrainian, the native of Kiev. And now I am on Maidan, on the central part of my city. I want you to know why thousands of people all over my country are on the streets. There is only one reason. We want to be free from a dictatorship. We want to be free from the politicians who work only for themselves, who are ready to shoot, to beat, to injure people just for saving their money, just for saving their houses, just to saving their power. I want these people who are here, who have dignity, who are brave, I want them to live a normal life. We are civilized people, but our governments are barbarians. That's not a Soviet Union. We want our courts not to be corrupted. We want to be free. Now that's powerful. Are you putting a human face on a tragedy, the recurring tragedy of what has been happening in Ukraine over the last few months? And that video and that tape has gone viral. The young lady who was, uh, you heard speaking there was Yulia. Marushkevska, and she's actually here with me now in the studio. Julia, welcome to Canada. Hello, nice to meet you. How did you feel sitting here in Canada watching that message that you sent out to the world from, uh, from Kiev? When I was watching it now, I, um, I was still feeling this pain, um, which I felt there, because like, um, it was a very hard moment for uh, each of us. It changed us. It, uh, it was... Uh, very hard steps that that was done and we lost a lot. How many people? How many people died? I think it was a hundred, wasn't it, in the, the protest? Actually, I did this video after first uh, two yep. people were killed. Right. But uh, in it, the end, it was close to a hundred, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was it was just the beginning and yes. it was horrible. Like just these first deaths that that made us that they, that shocked Ukrainians. That shocked us very much and I wanted all world to know why. Why are they dying? What for? How effective do you think the video has been in getting your message out? Because people like we're here in Canada, we're seeing it's gone viral, it's gone around the world because you speak for freedom and you speak for hope and you speak for people and humanity. That's a universal message, isn't it? Um, here in Canada, I feel that uh, it worked because uh, when you're there in Ukraine, you're fighting, you're doing your everyday stuff. You're like, I was volunteering, protesting. I, I, I honestly, I didn't think that uh, that it went uh, so popular and like uh, so viral. But now, uh, when I when I came here, I felt all this support, and I'm uh, happy that uh, maybe I did a small input. You, you, but little steps and small steps work, don't they? Because little steps and small steps get the message out to the, the yeah. wider world. What did your friends think of you making this video? What did your friends think of you standing up and stepping out and, and, and sending your voice to the world? Do your friends encourage you and say... All my family, all my friends yeah. uh, were standing there. We were together, wow. like, all the time. Uh, like, my mom was coming after her work uh, and uh, spent uh, her nights there. Uh, like um, my dad and uh, my brothers were in self-defense uh, trying because to... Because some of the scenes we saw, the mass scenes of, of people on the streets of Kiev, uh, even early on in these demonstrations, there, there were firefights, there were shootings, there was mass riots, people fighting other people, fighting back. What, a, what a, an amazing time to be alive in the city of Kiev when all this is going on around you. How safe did you feel at the time? You know, the safety of place in Kiev was Maidan. Mm. Uh, when I was uh, going to my studies at the university, like one day I had to, to put off my blue-yellow ribbon because people were kidnapped uh, while they were wearing these ribbons. But when I, when I was on Maidan, I feel so safe mm. and I feel so calm and so uh, sure, uh, so, um, so proud that uh, like you, you don't feel any fear there. I mean, it's a great simple... Uh He heading, I am a Ukrainian, and yeah. that's it. And that's how you package up the video, I am Ukraine. And that says it all. Ukraine, you're part of it. It's in your blood, it's in your family, it's in your friends, and you're standing up. What can you do next? Are you, are you traveling? I know you were here in a protest in Toronto on the weekend. What's your next step in taking your message to the world? Um, now we are determined to build new, successful, peaceful, prosperous Ukraine. Mm. And um, I just um, want to 
tell our story and to show uh, uh, to tell about current situation in Ukraine. But uh, I want people to understand uh, uh, another thing. Like we are not uh, the country to feel sorry about. Uh, what can the world do if you don't want us to feel sorry for you? How, how can the rest of the world support you in your struggle? Just, just stay with us. Just uh, stand with us. Yeah, just, just be with us. Uh, uh, we are open country, and we invite to invite you, like, uh, um, like professionals, like visitors, uh, like observers. Uh, we are. You, I think that's a miracle which is happening in. Uh, today's world because like new freedom, new democracy. And we all is... live in a, a world where we're all linked in, but Canada has been very strongly to the forefront in supporting the Ukraine. Yeah. The Canadian um, foreign minister was over there very quickly. The prime minister has been in Ukraine. Canada has been, I think, standing very strongly alongside Ukraine. And this has history because there are a lot of Ukrainians who left the country after the Second World War, came to Canada, and, and I'm sure they're watching nervously, but I, I think it's fair to say the world can be proud that Canada has, has, was one of the first countries to stand up and stand alongside Ukraine. I'm really proud of Canada. Uh, I came uh, here because of the invitation of Ukrainian Canadian Congress, like to help them with, with the coll collecting donations to help those who were injured. And I, I saw these Ukrainians who are with all their souls with Ukraine, but more I was surprised with, with ordinary Canadians, mm. uh, which I met in the uh, like restaurant or the, the airport, and they, they were telling me, like, st uh, we are with you. Like, well, ca I think it's fair to say Canada stands alongside the Ukraine, because st Canada stands for democracy, Canada stands for peace, yes. Canada stands for open government. These are all the things that Ukraine aspires to, and it must be hard to aspire to that when you've got a bully of a country next door like Russia. Yeah, that's not not so easy. Yeah, but you're happy then with the support from yeah, Canada. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm I'm very happy with the support from Canada, from Canadian politicians and uh, ordinary Canadian people. Like they understand us and uh, they understand that that's a question of uh, humanity. That's uh, the question of the peace uh, in the whole world because we we, we couldn't gamble with that. Like uh, we don't know. Uh, which steps we do, we, we can be next done by Russian well, government? Well, we know one of the next steps will be the election coming up. Mm -hmm. So yeah. will you be back there supporting a candidate in the election or because it's going to be a democratic election, mm -hmm. it's going to be an open election, which is good. Um, so do you have anyone you think might be standing up and looking like a close winner at the moment or it's a bit far out? I, I will be standing with civil society, okay. observing yes. and... Um, um, for me, it doesn't matter who will be the next president, um, because um, Ukrainian people um, changed. Uh, and uh, now we are controlling our politicians very much. And I am staying with these forces who are watching, controlling uh, every their steps, because uh, that is the most important thing. Not who will be the next, but what he will be doing or she. It's important <laughs> for the Ukrainians. You want to define your future. You want to have your future make your decision. Yes. You don't want Russia to make it for you. For sure, that's ridiculous. Why someone has to uh, make decisions about our future? We, we are not telling anyone how to live in this world. We're just asking, like, leave us alone and to give us a possibility to develop and to grow. And, that, and that's all what we want. Well, pe peace is an addictive thing, isn't it? Because everyone wants peace because no one wants war. Uh, the guests before you were here <laughs> were talking about this meeting in Paris where uh, uh, the US Secretary and the Russian Foreign Minister Kerry were talking. Kerry and Lavrov. But why, why wasn't the Ukraine there? The Ukraine yes. should have been in that meeting. For, for me, that's also the question. Like, uh, I know why, because uh, uh, Lavrov do doesn't want to talk to our officials. Like, that's... Uh, but John Kerry should have been stronger. He said, should have said, no, if you want to talk to me about the future of this country, Ukraine should be here or we don't talk. And, and that, to me, is really a betrayal of the Ukraine. He's got to, uh, John Kerry has to stand up for Ukraine and the Ukrainians. Uh, I think he is staying. Mm. I uh, read his answers yes. to Lavrov mm. and he said quite direc directly that Ukraine has uh, to make a decision by uh, her own. Yeah? Uh, we, we Ukrainians have to make the, uh, all these decisions and I think that they just try, uh, like Kerry was trying to to regulate, to, to do something. Perhaps he's trying to be a diplomat and try and tread softly, but I can say it because I'm not a diplomat. Uh -huh. I just think Ukraine should have been there in that meeting. For sure. For, for us, it's very yeah. humiliating, yes. like from the uh, side of Russian government, that uh, they do not want to talk with us. 
because they are not taking us any, as an equal partner. Mm. But we are. We are an independent state. It's almost state. like they're talking to Ukrainians like your children, and you have to do what you're told, yes. and you'll do what Russia says, or you'll yes. do what another country says. But that's Ukraine is a country. It's one one nation we together. Are, we are big, and we, we are a big and strong country. The thing that we done on Maidan with, with these people, that's that's really hard step, and I think we grew up with this revolution. We grew up with this protest, and now we, we, have, we deserve this right to talk by our, about our future and to, to make these decisions. Is there one message you'll take back to the Ukraine when you go the, uh, about Canada, about your stay here? Um, I think I'll say that we have to be happy that the uh, like, world is supporting well, us so well, much. Well, all the best to you, and I wish you all the best.